cut it on the first time. Hey, everyone. Um, as you're getting on tonight, press your share button. That would be great. I just thought I would get on tonight and uh, sing over you Psalm 30, which is a psalm that David wrote. And, and, and I love it out of the Passion Translation because it says, he writes, O oh Lord, my healing God, I cried out for a miracle and you healed me. Now here I am, alive and well, fully restored. So I thought I would get on tonight and sing Psalm 30 over you. So hello, Darcy and April and um, yes, Darcy, hello from California. Hey, as you get on, do me a favor, press your share button and let me know where you're watching from so that I can say hello and hello Samuel. Let me know where you're watching from. Hello Ashley from Houston. I'll see you next month. Um, but I, I know so many people that are just wrestling with sickness and cancer and I am singing tonight um, over my brother-in-law Doug wrestling with cancer. I'm singing over my brother wrestling with just yucky diabetes. I'm singing, I want to sing over those who are just in a war fighting autoimmune. Autoimmune is so wicked. So wicked. So, so hello everyone, Samuel and Kayla from Wisconsin and Barbara. Uh, do me a favor, press your share button. If you are watching from Facebook Live, hello. When you see that pop-up, if you will put your email uh, address in that pop-up window, we will send you a free music download from our 24-7 worship radio, which Psalm 30 is on there. We have over 50 hours of the Psalms on our 24-7 radio, and it's, it's Psalm 1 through 59 plus Psalm 91. And I'd love to bless you with that because I believe that we can win these wars with just injustice and sickness and, and battles and chaos doing what David did. And he sang his meditations and he just put himself in the storyline. So tonight, Claudia from Ohio and Amanda and Verna, we are putting ourselves in the storyline of Psalm 30. And I want to give you some choruses and also say hello to everyone watching on YouTube. Uh, press your share if you can share it. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you can get your phone and you can text the number 313131. And in that, if you write worship and then... Uh, a space and then your email we will send you a free musical download from our 24 7 radio because i just believe that this is how david did his battle and i believe that singing the psalms is an equipping tool for breakthrough david did it and it worked we need to do it and watch it work so anyway god bless you uh, I'm just, I'm also asking the Lord for some words for you tonight. Just trusting the Lord will give me some prophetic words for people. I love doing that. So, so Psalm 30, Psalm 30. If you know someone um, that needs prayer for healing, just put their first name in here. And um, if I don't sing their name out now, I will later. And we just want to, we just believe that Psalm 30 says what it means, and it means what it says. And in Hebrews 4, uh, Paul writes that the word of the Lord is alive and full of living power. So as I pray over you, as I sing over Doug and Jeff and Sarah, as I sing over Graham, I believe these words from these pages that are coming out of my mouth, 
that they are going forth and touching every single person that needs a healing tonight. I don't have to lay hands on you. I don't have to be in the same room with you. You know what? Just take these choruses and sing them. This is your weapon of breakthrough. Cecilia and Reese, Joe, we sing out over Rebecca and Tara for total healing and tied up. Oh, oh. We sing it out over Walt. Da, we sing it over Kelly. Sing it a healing from diabetes in Jesus' name. Barbara, healing for your children. We're singing this over you, Kim. If you're just getting on, hey, press the share button so Psalm 30 can go out. We're singing this over your mother, Penny Hayes. We're singing it over Leanne. We're singing it over George in Jesus' name. We're singing it over Naomi and Marcus and Tina and Mrs. Neal. We're singing it out tonight over you. And this is Psalm 30, David's prayer for complete healing. And this is the key. We're singing it over Pastor Ron Bates and over Marty and Leticia and Willie and Doris and Blancha. And we're singing it for your mother Lois and Asher and, and, your, and, and Kayla and Clifford. This is the thing about Psalm 30 that's so beautiful because David starts this psalm by saying, God, I exalt you. And he says, you've lifted me out of the depths. And he said, you brought me back from the brink of death. You pulled me out of the grave. And it's like in Psalm 30, we know that David was struggling with a sickness, but we don't know, we don't know what it was, but it was something unto death because he basically writes, I'm one breath away from the grave. And he said, but God, he reached his hand down and he pulled me out. And I believe that that's what he's gonna do tonight for you, Anne and Sarah. I believe that he's gonna, he's gonna heal you because it's, it's the word of God. Jesus said, Jesus sent forth his word and healed them. And tonight I'm sending forth Psalm 30 to heal in the name of Jesus. Psalm 30, Psalm 30, sing it over Shelly tonight. Oh, Lord, I 
part again. Lord, I exalt you and I lift you up, for you have lifted me up out of the depths. Over all my boasting, gloating enemies, over all sickness, God, you rescued me. Singing it over you, Terry and Winona. Lord, I exalt you and I lift you high. You brought me back from the, the brink of death. You pulled me out of men. pre-chorus and you have made me triumph we all should sing it out and you have made me win you've made me a winner and you have made me triumph God and you have made me to you made Belinda to win doesn't say 
say I might heal you. He doesn't say maybe, 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 maybe I'll reach down and heal. But he says, oh Lord, my healing God, I cried out for a miracle. Oh Lord, my healing God, and you healed me. So cry out you're praying for someone if you're praying for yourself do what David did just I cry out for a miracle I cry out for a miracle I cry out for a miracle I cry out to my healing God I cry out for a miracle I cry out for a miracle I cry 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 I cry to you God to only you crying out for a miracle crying out for a miracle a miracle I need a healing God. just look at the names on this thread God Jade and Jeremy and healing for Vicki oh they they need a miracle and you're the God who Heather's family healing for Millie mm. healing 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 for Paul and then David writes this very beautiful very beautiful scripture in Psalm 30 and he says and I've learned that that your anger Now 
it like this. I mean, it starts with David, one breath away from the grave. In fact, he paints this picture that he's already laying in the grave because death was imminent and certain and God showed up and he reached his hand down and he pulled him out of the grave and David said, Oh Lord, my healing God, I cried out for a miracle and you healed me. And he said, here I am alive and well, fully restored. Guess what? Weeping may last for the night, but joy, unending joy, a whirling, twirling joy, joy, joy lasts forever. It will fill my heart forever. And then David ends Psalm 30 with this beautiful line of praise saying, you could never be praised enough, God. And you could never be praised enough. Mm. And you could never be praised enough. No, no, no. And you could never be praised enough, God. You can sing it like this. everyday life, getting breakthrough, learning the art of winning the battle through singing the word. And that's what David did. 
This is perfect, Sarah B. Every time I get on, I believe the right people get on at the right time to hear the right psalm. And Sarah B., this is for you tonight. Because just singing these words, they go out, they go forth, they go, they begin to, they begin to heal. They begin to restore. These words are alive and full of living power, like I said at the beginning. Uh, if you are watching from YouTube, hello. Um, share, press your share if you can share it. Um, and you can also send us your email through a text. If you text 313131 and you put worship, just write the word worship and then a space and your email address in there, we will send you a free musical download from our 24-7 radio. And the point is that every word I am singing is straight from the Word of God, which is alive. So if you just pick up these little choruses and sing them wherever you'd go or, or make up your own melody, but just sing, don't sing about the Word, sing the Word. Don't sing about the Word, sing the Word, the Word, the Word of God. And the word, once it gets, once it is loosed from your mouth, the, the word of God, it needs to make a sound. Don't just pray it silently. I'm like, silent prayer is over. We have got a war in the airwaves that we need to fill with sound. It's time for sound. We need to fill it with sound. And the sound that needs to go forth is the word of God because it's alive and full of living power. So wherever you are tonight, Shirley and Michelle, um, hey, uh, if you're just getting on, um, uh, let me know where you're watching from. But we're, I'm singing over, um, just singing healing tonight, word for word um, from Psalm 30. I'm not singing the whole song, but everything I sing is from Psalm 30. So if you need healing, or you know somebody who does, just write their first name in there, or you know what, sing this song over them. I'm going to sing it once again, once again. So if you're watching right now, just let this song wash over you, Sarah B. Just let this song wash over you.
choruses and you have made me triumph singing it over Stacy and you have made me win you've made me a winner singing it over Sandy tonight and you have made Kara and Corey winners and you have made Linda and made us winners so hey take those two choruses and sing them sing them out I mean go look at yourself in the mirror or point your body in the direction of whoever needs healing and these words they don't just get lost they actually they're like rain they go forth and they water the ground they go forth and they do what they say they will do and they do not return back to God until they have accomplished everything 
everything and all that God has sent them to do. And we know this, that God sends his word and heals them. And he'll, so consider yourself literally the word of God just running after you, surrounding you. It's, it's, it's all around you. It's above you. It's beneath you. It's within you. Right now it's working. Whoever you are, and if you need healing, right now the word of God is working. Right now the word of God is healing because that's what it says it will do. That is exciting. That is exciting. If you're just getting on, press your share button so that Psalm 30 can go out. Also, if you would like a free musical download to our 24-7 radio, which has Psalm 1 through Psalm 59 on it, over 50 hours of soaking from the Psalms, bringing the Psalms into our everyday life, fighting the battles just like David did. And guess what? He won time and time and time again. Um, when you see that pop up, you can put your email address if you're watching on Facebook. If you are watching on YouTube, you can text, like get your phone out and text 313131. And in that text, put the word worship and then a space, and then your email, and we will get you a free musical download because I believe it is an equipping tool. It is the song that equips the saints for every and any kind of breakthrough. And I believe, I just believe that with all my heart. David did. And you know what? There was a couple that, you know, he had to go back and get some more, you know, get some more uh, instructions from God. But God led him to his destiny. And David spent most of his life being chased by an army trying to kill him. So come on, come on. This is, this is how David fought his battle. And I believe it's how we're going to win ours. I, I, I do. Um, if you need, if you say, I really need um, extra prayer tonight, you can take advantage. I am on staff at the Healing Rooms Apostolic Center in Santa Maria, California. Rick and Lori Taylor are our incredible directors, and they have trained a staff just in praying for you. And you can go to our website, which we'll put that link up. It is um, Healing Rooms smv.com and up in that right hand corner it says online ministry you can press that button and sign up for online ministry where our team will call you through a live zoom call and you'll be at your house and we will have our team right on your computer or your phone praying for you. We've had incredible, incredible testimonies of healing and deliverances and breakthrough over these online prayers. If you need, um, you just say you need to be encouraged, you can also sign up for personal prophecy. My friend Sabrina Walsh has raised up an incredible team that will prophesy over you, encourage you, and again, Again, we've had incredible testimonies that literally people said, this was spot on. It was right on. And take advantage of those um, online uh, ministries. So hello. Hello, Benjamin and my friend Camille. I know, Sabrina. Camille, you got, you got to sign up for personal prophecy with your beloved. And I'll make sure that it's Sabrina that praise for you but anyway uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say au revoir and uh, I'll be getting on uh, I don't know if I'm getting on tomorrow but hey if you just tuned in watch this and sing Psalm 30 over anyone who is sick these words are alive and full full 
of living, healing power. They have to go forth and go out. These words have creation on them. These words are a guarantee. These words will never let you down. These words are the truth. These words are a promise. This word will do what it says and say, and it will do what it says and say what it does. Okay, I forgot how I said that. It, it does what it says, and it says what it does. There we go. It does what it says, and it says what it does. So, hey, anyway, God bless you guys, and I'll see you um, next week. See you, see.